using fractional percents. Let's look at an example. The sales tax where Bill and Karen live is six and one-fourth percent. They bought a small waiting pool for $49.95. How much money does the sales tax amount to? If we look at our calculator, we're going to put in our $49.95. Remembering that six and one-fourth is 6.25, we multiply by 6.25% and we find the sales tax to be 3.121875 and knowing that we're talking about money we would round that to $3.12. If we had a calculator that did not have a percent key we would first have to take that 6 and 1 quarter percent. We know that it's 6 Point twenty-five, but I would need to move this decimal point two places to the left. So that's point zero six two five because six point twenty-five is still a percent. You've changed the fraction to a decimal, but it's still a decimal percent. To change the percent to a regular decimal, you must divide by a hundred, which means you move that decimal point two places to the left. Now you can use this number on your calculator and do 49.95 times the point 0.0625 to get the same answer of $3.12. This hammer sells for $29.45. The sales tax here is eight and a quarter. Patty is going to have to convert that into decimal. Tax is two forty three. Total is thirty one eighty eight. So Patty had to convert eight and a quarter percent to decimal, which is eight point two five. Let's do the math. We have a hammer that sells for $29.45 and the sales tax is eight and a quarter percent. So we have to add that on. Before with the sale, we deduct the amount, but with sales tax, the government wants that money from us. So what we have to do then is convert eight and a quarter percent into a decimal to use a calculator. All right, so eight and one fourth percent equals 8.25%. And so let's go to the calculator. The hammer costs $29.45. We'll put that into memory, memory plus. Now we're going to find out the sales tax times 8.25%. So that's your sales tax, which is about $2.43 rounded up. So again, hit memory plus, memory call. So the hammer cost $31.88. Now there's another way of doing that. Again, there's some calculators that do not have a percentage key. And so there's a fast way of doing that, and that is convert this then into a decimal. This 8.25% equals, and we move this over two places, one, two, and the placeholder is zero, and that will equal 0 0.825. That's what 8.25% equals in a decimal. Now a fast way of doing that is put a one in front of that. By putting a 1 and multiplying by 1, that's is going to give you this number, and this will add the sales tax. Now let's do that on this calculator. Clear it. We'll put the price of the hammer into the calculator, $29.45. And now we're going to multiply that, and we're going to put 1 point. Now when we do that, we actually put already in the price into the calculator. Now we'll put the sales tax into the calculator. And that's 
two five equals and we get the same number, $31.88. So that's a quick way of doing that. Uh, when you have to multiply, just add a one in front of it, and then add your sales tax and decimal. Now, one of the big advantages of these kind of calculators, and you see them used in offices a lot, is that when you type in numbers, I'm just putting random numbers in here, it leaves a paper trail. Now I can go back with this here and go and check numbers. Sometimes you're adding 20, 30, 40, 50 numbers and you might leave out a number but with this you can go back again and, and check and then you make sure that you have the right amount of numbers in there and you can double check it whereas with a plain calculator once you put it in it's lost. I mean you cannot recall it. It's, it's gone. So these are very handy if you want to double check your work. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.